The Princess and I are especially pleased to join you at this inaugural ceremony marking the 400th anniversary of the City of Santa Fe's foundation by the Spanish Crown. This occasion offers us the opportunity to remember the past, to celebrate the present, and strengthen the future of our friendship between Spain and the United States of America. First, allow me to convey congratulations and warm greetings from their majesties, the King and Queen, and from the people of Spain. I believe this celebration is already a great success thanks to the support of local authorities, the magnificent efforts of the organizing committee, and the ensuing wave of public involvement and enthusiasm. And for us, it's a real privilege to participate in such an important commemoration of the history of this great nation and of Spain's heritage in North America. Today we want to recall all the Spaniards who in different moments of history contributed to the forging of this noble and hospitable land of New Mexico. Juan Doñate, Pedro de Peralta, Diego de Vargas, and so many others, of whom we still see today their names inherited and used by New Mexicans and Spaniards alike. They all deserve our respect as we look back with historical perspective and learn from their achievements and their misgivings. But we would also like to acknowledge here all those who have contributed to forge modern New Mexico, the one that you all live in, enjoy, and continue to dedicate your hopes and daily work. From the 16th century, Spanish settlers, civil servants, soldiers, clergy arrived in this territory then inhabited solely by indigenous people. From then, they learned as well many ways to treat the land and many traditions. I still have fond, fond memories of my participation in a very moving and enjoyable gathering in the year 2000 with their descendants, representatives of the native Pueblo Indians. The Hispanic roots of the U.S. are becoming increasingly known and better acknowledged. So we Spaniards are happy and also proud to recall once again that they are at the core of the very origins of your great nation. When the city was founded, it was originally christened Santa Fe de los Españoles y de San Francisco de Asís, Santa Fe of the Spaniards and of St. Francis of Asís. A strong reminder of the Hispanic heritage, but also of the importance of the Spanish language and of its importance today as well. New Mexico is an excellent example of the enduring presence of the Spanish language in the U.S., where its teaching and promotion enjoy the effective support of several centers of the Instituto Cervantes. But I am also pleased to mention that many significant elements arrived directly from Spain and later became part, a distinctive part, of the United States. We can recall the ranching culture that to a great extent was originated in Spain and then came to the American West. Traditional institutions like the mission, ranches, forts, its first towns, city planning and models, architecture, and land ownership and rights. Among many others were contributions of the long presence of Spaniards in this part of North America. Ladies and gentlemen, our presence here in Santa Fe and in New Mexico leads me inevitably to mention as well the Camino Real de Tierra Dentro, the National Historic Trail. This route provided a direct connection among 1,600 miles between Mexico City and Santa Fe. But not only people traveled this route, also the ideas, the cultures, the plans and dreams of progress and civilization that were carried along with them. All ties between New Mexico and Spain did not die out after the epic era of conquest and colonization. They were even present well into the 19th century, and in this, in this respect, I would like to remember the figure 
of Pedro Bautista Pin, sent by Santa Fe, as it's represented to the Spanish Parliament, which met in the city of Cali, to draft and adopt our country's first ever constitution in 1812. Actually, soon after our own war of independence against the Napoleonic troops. This constitution was written by a representative selected from all the territories that were then part of the Spanish crown. In Cadiz, Deputy Bautista Pino, who was both New Mexican and Spanish, presented a number of requests on behalf of New Mexico concerning higher education. Centuries later, this is a field where Spain has wished to show its special regard for this state, with the creation of nine years ago of the Prince of Asturias Endowed Chair at the University of New Mexico. Let me use this opportunity to congratulate and recognize most sincerely all those who have contributed in so many ways to make possible this Endowed Chair in Information Science and Technology with the highest standard of excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, this 400th anniversary of Santa Fe is also a very good occasion to highlight and remind ourselves that the United States of America and the Kingdom of Spain are today allies, partners, and very close friends. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come here today to celebrate the ties that first linked New Mexico and Spain for centuries. Four centuries ago. It is very important for us to be here, not just because of the great historical and cultural significance of this event, but also because of its immense value for our present and our future interest to strengthen even more our friendship between with the United States. A friendship that Spain holds in the highest regard and to which as heir to the throne, I devote great effort and affection. Once again, on behalf of the Princess and myself, I extend to you our most heartfelt congratulations for these first 400 years. And now it is in Greek, it is indeed a great honor for me to declare solemnly and officially open the commemorative events of the 400th anniversary of Santa Fe. Thank you all very much.